What's up, bro? Yeah. Hey. DJ Swoop. Hey. Punch. Punch. It's Coco. Anyway, go copy this. You know, it's my favorite energy thing just to get me like me. Because, you know, I'm the king of the universe. I'm from Jupiter. I own the universe. Nobody's doing it bigger than me. Anyway, welcome to the number one and the biggest uh, sneaker platform in the science. Welcome to Sneaker Cam and Sneaker Hygiene. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you have been keeping up with what I've been uploading, so the last episode I was talking about molding, all right? Now, today I'm going to talk about another sneaker care. You got me? So we will be talking about how and what to use whenever you're cleaning your suede shoes. Suede sneakers, suede heels, you name them. If this suede, this is for you. So now ladies and gentlemen, oh yes, yeah, so this is a, it's a Puma staple, Pigeon. I've already spoken about the shoe. Next minute, it's like little, I get one, little two, I get five, little twenty. I can tool la rasa. Yeah, rasa la tool. So I can understand what I'm Anyway, I'm going to up. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's get into it. So now, first of all, like I keep on saying, whenever you're about to wash your shoe, always identify the materials. It's important for you to know what material you're dealing with so that you don't use the wrong equipment because one thing you don't want is to use something that is going to permanently damage your shoe so today is a sneaker topic sneaker hygiene topic or shoe this weight sweet but now there's a nice part about this one it has three types of material right it has it has sweet it has leather even the inside is leather and then obviously the outside part midsole the midsole is white now to take care of this normally i never advise people to wash your soy with like water and stuff like that i never do i always say well let's buy those um foam type of soap you know and i'll also tell you how to get rid of the smell because soy and water are not friends so now when i'm talking about foams i'm talking about things like this you see when you get things like your uh, multi-purpose foam cleaners this type of things i prefer car ones because the car ones are actually stronger and their soap is very hard and it does get rid of dirt that's why i prefer using these ones compared to any other foams out there go buy it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the brand this one is atom get any any it doesn't matter now you know why i say it doesn't it doesn't matter which one because the brushes are the same and what i like about these brushes is they not bristle they plastic but they hard they soft and they get the job done so you see how's this but this one is finished but anyway can you hear this right now what i love about this thing is that it's just not too hard and it's enough for the soil now first the first thing you really want to do before you apply the foam these brushes right get um a meat uh brush dust off the excessive dirt on it like dust it off first brush brush it off right because now uber eats there is my looms now uber eats they have everything it's veggies onion cabbage tomato carrots potatoes in the tongue and slow thigh no that's not a thigh it's a pumpkin <laughs> pumpkin anyway I suck enough so first off make sure that you dust off the shoe dust the shoe off thoroughly dust it off dust make sure that there's no dust in it right two you can take out you can take out your um, your inner soles, if they do come out, take them out because that's where most of the smell can be trapped in. Take out your inner soles. You can wash your inner sole using a normal brush. Brush it out with soap. And when in terms of soap, I always say wash your inner, any type, any part of the shoe using auto wash. Auto wash is nice because it doesn't carry a lot of soap in it and it dissolves very quickly. 
so now make sure that you use the auto wash soap to wash your inner soaps all right laces hand wash do not use a brush you're going to damage your laces you're going to untangle them as you can see this ones are two are knitted very close to each other but one wrong pull you might untangle your laces hand wash your laces always hand wash your laces now back to the sweep after this after you have dusted off your sweep apply this now make sure that you have a cloth on you because you're gonna get dirty okay and when you do this don't apply the don't don't spray the whole shoe with the foam because you're gonna finish the shoe you're wasting it focus on one side first do the side apply the foam take this guy right and in all right now with sway don't go back and forth because you're gonna damage the material instead you can go in circles don't do this do this and don't apply full pressure on it because what's gonna happen is the nap of the shoe will just lay down you don't want to damage the nap of the shoe because once you damage the nap of the shoe your shoe will look uneven right now make sure you you do a nice circular motion don't harden your hand all around the shoe now after let's just say you do one side take a cloth wipe it off move on to the next side wipe it off move on to the next side wipe it off now it comes to the drying part of the suede make sure that you have paper paper like newspapers not this newspapers right put it outside on the sun where the sun is put newspapers on it why now remember that you're not using water to wash this right so you're using foam so that means the foam goes into the shoe right now the thing is you want your shoe you want the foam not to get through the shoe into the shoe when you use a newspaper the newspaper is going to absorb everything inside and then once it's done it's gonna have a wonderful smell this smell box what flavor is this Doesn't have a name. Kabang is on a flavor. Like, it doesn't make sense. This lily, that is the only flavor I know. Not flavor, smell. Flavor is something else. Hey, Jupiter. I've been singing the song that they're an alien, my boy. And then, make sure that you put newspapers in there. And then, after the shoe is nicely and dry. Make sure that the laces are dry too. Again, do not use water on your suede because when you use the water, you're gonna damage the nap. Now we know what happened, and then after that, <clears throat> one last detail I may have left out: uh, that uh, masking tape. I know it, it may sound expensive and stuff like that, but get masking tape, right? And then tape your sole tape your whole soul mid soul tape it all up right and then try to cover this part too and then after that take the suede um, rejuvenator spray apply on it and then after that nicely brush the nap in one direction don't brush one don't brush one to the left and then to the right brush it in one direction why why so that your shoe looks the same everywhere and then after that you can also apply the recolor of whatever sweet color it is which is fine but anyway make sure that you do that use that take care of your shoes ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i just gave you a nice tip please take care of your kicks i don't use water in case in case it happens maybe let's just say you stumble on water you pour water by mistake or maybe it was raining outside now it might damage the shoe but the best thing you can do it's a long run it's a long run but it, it works that same part make sure that you rinse it off with water first right but not just too much water and then from there use your um, try to get a, a hair dry right now when you're using a hair dryer do not put it too close to the nap 
right just above nicely make sure that it's dry and then from there brush it out so that you can pick up the nap so that the nap stands again you know, it looks like black afur har you know when it does this like amand wait but they're not mine they're yours nicely you yeah, understand that's how it is so i will drop a part two of these guys so anyway any favorite words of jupiter adios